Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Today's pick a card reading is going to be all about uh, where you are headed for new beginnings. So this is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So just take a moment to um, meditate on the crystals and the piles and see which one you are drawn to the most. Now this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. And if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It just means it's not your story. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my information will be down below in the description box. Okay, so I will also put a timestamp so you can just jump to your reading. And it is okay if you would like to choose more than one pile. No worries there. Just means you may have more than one message. Okay, so let's jump into pile number one. Okay, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Okay, so pile number one, you have this pretty little gold stone here. Whoops. Let's see your cards. Okay, we have Mother Nature. Support. appreciation and come to the edge okay so okay so pile number one when it comes to your new beginning I'm seeing here with the come to the edge you are starting to overcome some fears and it may be that you have found a good support system here and you're feeling a sense of gratitude and appreciation for this uh, newfound community. And they're, they're helping you with um, really building your courage and overcoming those obstacles and facing your fears. I'm also seeing here with the Mother Nature, um, you may be spending some time in nature, maybe you're out for, out for some walks. I'm also seeing here that it could be a very maternal, motherly card. If there's someone around you that's uh, very maternal, I'm seeing this as a possibility for you. There could be someone here who's very maternal and supportive when it comes to um, any new beginnings you are moving towards. So I'm just going to jump into some tarot and get some additional messages for you guys. So pile number one, it looks pretty good for you. And we are in a new moon and the new moon is all about New beginnings. It is a new moon in Aquarius. Okay. So. We do have the Era of Fire, with, which is the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have Transformation. Also the Death card. And let's get one more tarot. We have the Emperor. Just gonna move these over a bit. Get them in. So pile number one, I'm seeing here in the past you could have been in this Ace of Fire energy, which was um, very undecided and you didn't know which direction you wanted to go in. in. There was, um, you knew kind of where you wanted to go, but you weren't taking any action towards um, your goals or your, your dreams. But I'm saying here, since you have found this support system, this is helping you during your transformation and you are moving forward to that emperor energy, which is all about um, manifesting and taking authority and creating a very 
stable life for yourself and really finding that stability here. As I look at the cards, I'm also with uh, these two here, I'm noticing the nature and the gardens. So I'm seeing a very supportive and loving energy surrounding you at this time as you guys move forward on your new beginning and new venture. Yeah, I'm also seeing here as well, we have a very nurturing card here. So I feel like you guys did find your, uh, your tribe, your community, your support system. And this is really helping you with your personal and spiritual growth. Yeah, I see you guys are, you're definitely feeling confident when moving forward with this new beginning. Another message I'm seeing here with these two cards is um, this transformation with facing uh, your fears and your obstacles has you feeling a sense of gratitude and appreciation when it comes to these challenges and you're really in a space of appreciation when it comes to this transformation and this is also that energy of gratitude is what is really the driving force when it comes to moving forward so this is it for pile number one you guys have a really amazing, uh, positive message here, guys. And anyways, I hope that resonated with you. You can always choose pile number two or pile number three if this didn't resonate. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. And let's move on to pile number two. Okay. Move you over here, pile number two, for the hematite. Okay, let's see what you guys have. Vulnerability. Here and now. So I'm just going to move the stone out of the way. Door to value. And transformation. Pile number one got a transformation card. So pile number one and two are both in uh, really driven when it comes to um, moving forward with their new beginning and transformation here. I'm seeing you guys are possibly allowing yourselves to express your vulnerability I'm also seeing with this here and now card, you guys may be doing a lot of meditation recently and practicing, practicing your affirmations and mindfulness and really trying to be in the present moment. I'm also seeing so far with this present moment, uh, some doors for opportunities are being presented to you to move towards your new beginning. So let's get some tarot to get some additional messages. So when we're able to be in the present moment, we can really have an appreciation for what we have now we're able to be in that um, energy of manifestation. If you guys are into the law of attraction, it's um, one of the key 
components of the law of attraction is to be in the present moment. Okay. So we have five of earth, five of pentacles. King of air, king of swords. And one more card. The eight of fire, which is the eight of wands. Okay, so we have three different elements here. So pile number two, in the past I'm seeing this vulnerability could have had you feeling a sense of abandonment. Maybe you've been felt abandoned or left out in the cold in the past and you have felt really vulnerable when it came to really letting people in here and that may have been something you've always struggled with but you are starting to um, overcome this challenge and you're really starting to learn how to master this and you have the mental clarity and the, the clarity and the mental strength when it comes to mastering the vulnerability and I see that you are ready for that transformation and you're ready to take action here with the aid of fire now that you've allowed yourself to be in the present moment in the here and now there are opportunities that are presenting themselves to you at this time I'm seeing there's a lot of abundance available to you now let's see if we get any additional messages here so I'm looking at these elements here and I'm really feeling a strong sense towards the air elements uh, there may be a strong air element in your life that may be someone who inspired you on this journey this new beginning that you were headed to so the air is gemini libra aquarius and we are also in a new moon in aquarius now these two with the elements i'm not really feeling a strong strong presence i'm really feeling it with with this uh air element here however so with the earth it's taurus virgo capricorn and the fire is sagittarius leo or aries take take what resonates if that resonates with you however i'm really feeling a strong air element in this reading for you guys pile number two So just practice being in the present moment and allowing those doors of opportunities um, open themselves up to you. One last message I'm getting for you guys, pile number two, is uh, with this value here, I'm really seeing that you guys are really starting to see your worth and see your value as you are moving forward. And it was within this vulnerability that um, really was the catalyst to this uh, fulfilling feeling and your sense of value. It really, really had you look in the mirror and see your worth. So this is all that I have for you guys, pile number two. You can always choose pile number one or pile number three if it doesn't didn't resonate. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. And we are moving on to pile number three. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Just going to move these. Okay. So... I don't always remember what all the crystals are. I'm sure if if one of you watching knows what this is, 
please feel free to drop it in the comments and let me know. I can, is it angelite or sodalite? I can't remember. Anyways, please feel free. Let me know. I just felt um, drawn to use this crystal from one of my pals today. It's very pretty. Okay, so pile number three. You have discernment. Happy, happy. <laughs> it's a pretty card. I haven't used this deck in forever. I think I've used it like once since I bought it. So it's pretty new to me. We have Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. And we have Lifestyle. So the Sixth Chakra is the Third Eye Chakra. You may have had some, uh, some clarity, some visions come to you recently. Your third eye may be opening up during this time. I'm seeing you guys, pile number three, is really feeling very positive and happy about your new beginning. With this discernment card, I'm seeing this as a... Uh, Kind of like your your spirit guides or your higher self may be warning you to use your discernment when it comes to moving forward on this new beginning. You are all in this um, this very positive place, M maybe wanting to live a healthier, more fulfilling lifestyle. But it's also saying here to use your discernment, pay attention to your intuition as you move forward. So let's get into some tarot and get some more messages. So I am using the good tarot for this. I'm trying to use the decks that I don't use very often. I haven't used this one. And this is the Fairy Godmother Oracle. So I'm trying to give some love to the decks I haven't used. Okay. P pile number three. Let's get some tarot. Okay. Seven of Wands. Just going to move these up. The Sun. <laughs> And ten of uh, ten of swords. Okay. What I'm getting here with this discernment card and these two, the seven of fire and the ten of air. Uh, so this one is all about like attack and needing to uh, protect yourself, and the ten of air, which is the ten of swords, is about um, feeling betrayal and stabbed in the back. So I'm really seeing this here with the discernment. This may have been something you are very well aware of from the past. This may be something you've experienced many times when um, moving forward. However, I'm seeing this as you are no longer willing to allow these types of people into in your life as you move forward you are choosing a better lifestyle you're choosing a healthier lifestyle a healthier mindset a healthier healthier when it comes to your emotions and your spiritual well-being you are choosing your happiness and you are now letting this go as you start your new beginning you are not bringing these people with you in in the future we have the sun card which is also about positivity it's about vitality i also see it as a manifestation card the sun 
provides uh, healing and nurturing and allows us to grow. It's also a masculine card, so if there's a masculine energy surrounding you, they may be um, your support system. It may also be that you resonate with the masculine energy. The masculine energy also um, is the mental aspect. The feminine is the emotions and the masculine is the mental. So you could be um, not so much in your feelings. You're seeing through the BS. You're seeing through this BS and you are no longer putting up with it and you are moving forward, choosing that healthier lifestyle. Okay, am I seeing anything else here? Okay, so another message I'm getting is if you can spend time out in the sun, because the sun is a great healer and it helps with that positive um, <laughs> positive um, feeling and that vitamin D. Soak up some vitamin D. Spend some time out in the sun if you are feeling kind of down. Um, I'm also seeing here, if this resonates for some of you, there may be a strong fire sign surrounding you so Sagittarius Leo Aries or you may have a strong air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading all readings were um, very positive when it comes to your new beginnings so if this didn't resonate with you please feel free to choose pile number pile number one or <laughs> geez that mercury retrograde I can't talk Pile number one <laughs> and pile number two. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Take care.